So what a sight this is. Another edition of this proud competition, just seemingly bigger and better still. Faces, of course, have come and gone, but some things never change. Those first-day feelings, new hopes, new expectations, and the belief that maybe, just maybe, this time it will be your turn. Really is quite... Jovic! Well, the finish certainly didn't match the build-up. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. Throw in. And that's definitely not his best. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? The Portuguese do have a penchant for producing great wingers, Peter. And this fella, Rafael Leao, is another really good example. He likes to play down the middle, or, or he'll go to the left-hand side, wherever he can kind of get his run started. Once he finds that little bit of space, then it's all about using his pace. It's Van Basten! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. That's just front foot enforcement. Pressure leads to mistake leads the chance that could spell trouble Vardiol moved on forwards. First quarter of an hour gone. Neither side yet able to force a breakthrough here. Doku. Kaka. And it's Van Basten. And he's managed to get free. Steaming on goalwards. And the shot! Goal! Milan! And Milan have the lead! Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Milan have their opener. It is a goal of real significance. Look, I'm sure that silencing the crowd would have been mentioned in the dressing room beforehand, and uh, just listen. Shapes to shoot! He scored! And they're at it again in double quick time! Well, we've seen the hunger to win it back and the focus to make it count. A very tasty combination. Substitution on the field, number 25. So the manager can make a change for the first time in the game here. So that's two now without reply. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt we'll be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Haaland, that has been cut short. Kaka. If they want to counter, they could do with more speed. Neither of these two want to come off second best. Bit of an appeal, but nothing doing. Could move up a gear here. Calabria cuts it out. That's positional gold, the utilisation of space. Oh, what's he giving here? He's given a penalty. Milan have themselves a chance from the spot. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done.
Ederson will have to save it here or there's real trouble. What a sensational save from Ederson! They want to be quick to recover this. And we have our very first corner. They've played it short. Costa Curta. Had a shot. Another chance. Yes! A quite incredible spell. They are flying. Milan find a position of real strength now. Calabria does really well to win the ball there. Doku. Well, they've got it again. Now it's Jovic. And it's Bernardo Silva, and he's been shifted off it. Ben Acer. And there's the end of the first half. Well, this certainly hasn't gone the way most of us in the ground had expected in advance. Granted, it is very pleasant if you're on the right side of it all. This looks well and truly sewn up already, Peter, but please feel free to forget what I've just said if there's a spectacular turnaround. Milan very much in control here, three up and cruising. So we're already into the second period. Ah, he's had it taken off him. Keeper's ball. No, no way through there. Oh, easy pickings there. Pass is just off target. Milan really do look to have it all sewn up here. Goes looking wide. Played back in. Well, the moans and groans from the stands now are very audible. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? An opportunity then to pull clear here. Milan with a free kick then. Kaká against the crossbar. The now it's Haaland. Doku. And here's a chance. Great football, shot and save. Well, I think a little eagerness just got the better of him. He may have been thinking about back page headlines there. Substitution on the field, number 11. Have their second Two corner now. Is number 19. Chukwese. And he'll shoot here. And the ball's come loose here. Oh, the keeper's equal to it. Look, it, it was achievable, Peter, but it needed his best. Milan have their third corner. Costa Curta. Can he put it away? Now, how often do you see that? Well, Peter, he clearly felt he was being invited to shoot, and it wasn't the worst decision he could have made. Milan do have options available on the bench if they want to go that way. And it's Bernardo Silva. 
He's shifting through the gears here. Holland. Turns and goes back. It's loose now and they want to get it back. Tomori closing in on the last quarter of an hour. And he was quick to react. He's gone forward. Chukwese. And there's green grass ahead of him. He's had a shot! It's in! It is no contest! It is a landslide! Not a defender in sight. He had all the time in the world. Well, that pretty much works out as a gift due to the space he was afforded in the box. It's become a case of men against boys. That is good alertness. Oh, the ball's gone astray. Variety is the spice of footballing life too. They need to alter their approach and, and start shifting this ball out wide. He's got away. Massive leap! It's in! And it adds further to a heavily one-sided scoreline. This is getting punishing. Yeah, it has become ugly for one, but the other is still delivering beauty. Milan totally rampant here. Well, their manager seems to have them always thinking about the next goal. When's the next goal coming? They're such an entertaining watch. Six added minutes has been... De Bruyne. Oh, he's felt that, hasn't he? And it's Calabria. Threads one in. A oh, lovely feedy is such a good mover. Now then, the ball's come loose. Now this could be a chance. He's got a side of goal. And again. What could fall kindly? And it's in. They are getting horribly bullied. And it seems they're... And that's that. Perfect result, perfect outcome, a test passed with flying colours. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Milan really deserve a lot of credit for what I'm sure would be a real confidence-boosting win, such a, such a huge game being played. There were so many factors that would have got the doubters going, but I guess they'll all go a little quiet now. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening. And now, I'd just like to read out our fan club members who are celebrating their birthdays today.